What's up guys, Peter here from Reviews on Anything and in this video we're looking at climbing shoes. Not your everyday uh, topic but very interesting. Uh, these are the La Sportiva Tarantula shoes in uh, kiwi color, I kid you not. And they are designed for climbing, obviously. This is an all-round climbing shoe that functions well on plastic, so when you're climbing on an indoor climbing hole, uh, but also well on rock uh, when you're bouldering or doing outdoor climbing. Um, set you back around 70 to 90 bucks, depending on where you buy them, and if you can find a good deal online. Uh, and they are um, a good sort of medium spec, I suppose, uh, climbing shoe. The top is made of leather, and as you can tell by the straps already, this is a shoe that's designed to be tight. When you're buying a climbing shoe, you really want it to be an extension of your foot because you can imagine obviously when you're climbing, uh, you really want to be well in touch with all your uh, connection points to the wall that you're climbing actually. Um, so these shoes are meant to be tight and that's why they have all these loops uh, on them so you can actually pull them in place properly. Obviously it shouldn't be so tight that it restricts blood flow to your foot. Um, this is size 42 for me, which is uh, very snug. There's like hardly any room left uh, for my uh, toes. But uh, since it's leather, it'll wear in a little bit and after climbing in it for a few times, uh, it becomes more comfortable. But definitely climbing shoes, um, unless you're familiar with the brand and the sizing, don't buy them online, unseen, untried. Really go to a store, put them on, see how they feel. Um, maybe even take it for a test climb if that's possible. Uh, to make sure you have the proper fit because there's nothing worse obviously than being halfway up a boulder and realizing that your shoes are too tight and you can't continue. That's a not a nice situation. Now you can open these shoes up pretty much all the way like so uh, to make sure you know that you can get your foot in properly and get it uh, adjusted so uh, that the desired tightness is right for you which is great. Then we move to the business end of the shoe, which is obviously the sole. Because this is the part uh, you're going to use to grip on any kind of climbing wall. Now it's made of something they call friction rubber, which according to them works really well on both um, plastic, so indoor climbing and uh, outdoor, which is great. Uh, that means you can use it uh, you know, all year round, um, anywhere you want really. The sole is 1.8 millimeters thick which means it's not a very aggressive shoe. Um, you know, there's a bit of flex in it, obviously, uh, but it's, um, you know, a very solid platform to stand on. Um, so if you're a climber that wants to, you know, fully flex his foot and bend it in all kinds of shapes, this is probably not the shoe for you because the sole is just too thick and a bit too stiff for that. But with extra cupping here around the, the toe, extra cupping here around the heel, um, it's a shoe that fits very well in, in pretty much any kind of environment. Uh, and I personally like shoes like this uh, that are a little less aggressive because um, I like to really utilize the shoe in order to uh, make my way up. And um, if your shoe gets too aggressive then I feel that I'm, that I'm just wearing socks. Um, so this is a really substantial sole and a really substantial addition to your foot in order to climb. Um, the shoe only weighs 290 gram, so you know, nice and light, um, shouldn't hamper you too much. Uh, and I find them actually quite comfortable. Um, I think the adjustment on, on the top is awesome to make sure you get a good fit. And I really like that they've thought this through from a climber's perspective and actually put the loops all around the shoe to make sure you can actually put it on nice and tight. Um, as far as durability goes, I tried them out a few times. Um, not a mark on them really. Uh, and it does indeed work really well on both plastic and rocks. And uh, all in all, I think it's a very accessible shoe. Uh, maybe when you're just getting into climbing like me, um, this is something you can definitely pick up uh, without a hitch and get started with. And especially at the price point, it's a decent shoe. Uh, not too sure about the color, but hey, I'm uh, sure that you can find something that matches your own personal taste. Uh, and all in all, I think it's a good shoe that does exactly what it needs to do and makes no secrets about uh, what it's supposed to do. Uh, I like it, it's a good shoe, and at the price point, uh, you can be sure to be uh, having a good time with this. This is Peter from Reviews on Anything with a look at the La Sportiva Tarantula shoes. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers!